Zambia. Bury your coins in the field of miracles and tomorrow you'll find a big tree pack with coins, said the two thieves. Pinocchio, go back home. Yeah. Luckily, the blue fairy came to the rescue and took the puppet to her home. Pinocchio told the fairy all about his misadventure, but each time he said something that wasn't true, his nose grew a little bit, and he told so many tales that in no time his nose had reached across the room. However, the fairy forgave Pinocchio when he said sorry. She told him never to tell lies and sent him home. To escape his new master, Pinocchio jumped into the sea from a high cliff. As soon as he touched the water, he was swallowed by a huge whale. Inside the belly of the whale, Pinocchio found his dad who had been looking for him everywhere. Pinocchio and Geppetto used the last of their candles to light up a great big fire in the throat of the whale, hoping that it would sneeze, and it did, so they both managed to escape. Hep, hep! Hooray! Hep, hep! Hooray! As soon as Pinocchio and Geppetto were home, the blue fairy appeared and as a reward for this good heart, turned the puppet into a real boy. <laughs> when he had finished, Geppetto rested his pocket on a shelf and said admiringly, 